Not yet, right? A little bit. Oh, yeah, there it goes. All right, so we just wet the rug out and the colors uh, are starting to move from the existing bleed damage. So we are, that's always a good sign, right? Um, so we are actually going to now put down a combination dye stripper and shampoo. And what this does allows us to clean the rug, but at the same time, hopefully get the colors that have moved previously to actually just completely strip out of the rug. So we will uh, show you what we're doing. We're actually going to focus on the spot that has the initial bleeding first. Then we're going to cover the whole back of the rug. And then we will turn it over, do the same thing, wait about somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes, depending on what's actually happening with the colors of the rug. And we will spin it and get it dry. All right, so we turn the rug over. Uh, Looking at it, we're actually going to start this rug from the back and then work our way to the front. in that water that's a good thing it's kind of what we're trying to do So we're doing the front of this rug now, and this rug was actually originally in a flood, so we are focusing on this area right here, which had the existing bleeding. And the reason that we actually put the stripping solution on the entire rug is we don't want to, we want the rug to evenly blend. We don't want to have a, a big, a much lighter spot here where the damage was. And you can actually see if you look, this water's actually starting to change color. Uh, that looks like dirt. There's probably a little bit of dirt in there, but a lot of that is red. That's looking pretty good. 
All right, so we're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. Maybe, yeah, maybe even less, maybe about five, five to 10 minutes, but uh, we will, uh, then we're gonna rinse it out and show you guys what we're looking at. Turn the rug back over and just kind of rubbing, uh, agitating this in one more time before we rinse it. Definitely seeing a lot of pink in the foam now. Pull that back there. So we're using our flush wand here on the back of the rug. And this is allowing us to rinse and squeegee at the same time. And what you end up with is a much more thorough rinse. And it kind of really gives us an idea how a rug is looking as it's uh, as we're rinsing it and doing this step. So we just did a squeegee and we can kind of see, we still see some of this bleeding here. It definitely looks better. So we're actually gonna rinse this out and probably do this process one more time.
All right, so this is round two. We are trying to remove a little bit more of the color that didn't seem to move out of some of the lighter colors. And we are gonna use a little more agitation. Uh, initially, we thought this rug wouldn't be able to handle it, but we did a little test spot on the back and it seemed fine, so. One more final agitation here. We're gonna get this rug rinsed completely. Uh, we are gonna wrap this rug in a diaper. And what that is, is basically a, just a, like a canvas drop cloth. And uh, when we do that, I'll explain while it's spinning why we do that. Um, but let's see, let's see what, it look, how, what it looks like here. So I'm just really trying to almost agitate the color that kind of got into these lighter blues here. Kind of see what it looks like when we get it rinsed. But I think it's looking a little bit better here. So, all right, we're gonna keep showing you what we're doing. So we rinsed the rug out, and what we noticed was the initial bleeding damage was from about here on the rug, all the way up to the middle of the rug in like a circle like this. So this part here doesn't have a ton of improvement, but the all remaining part around the border here has about an 80 to 90% improvement. So what we wanna do is we wanna find the balance here. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying something, I'm testing something a little stronger here just to see what kind of reaction we'll get. Um, what we have to be careful with, with once we start getting stronger than the initial process is we don't want to fix the rug here at the expense of leaving a, a big hole in the middle of this rug now in color. Uh, usually when we start a rug like this, we usually hope that the more milder solution will work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, and we have to kind of adjust and, and adapt from there. So um, we're just going to keep on going. All right, so that test area that we uh, did seemed to work. So we applied uh, that same concentrate to the entire area that seemed to be still affected with the migrating dyes. And then we, once again, over the whole rug, put down our initial uh, dye strip or shampoo mix. And what that does is allows us to, anywhere that the stronger concentrate is, if it starts to move around and hit some of the other areas we don't want it to, that other stripper on the rug will allow it to blend throughout the whole rug. And 
and we are gonna let this sit a few minutes. We're gonna run our machine over it one more time to agitate it, and then we are gonna rinse it and get it in the centrifuge. about halfway through the dwelling process and we are just checking to see some of the progress it's definitely looking better so we are pretty hopeful that we should see a marked improvement here So what we're doing now is called diapering a rug. And like I was saying before, you're just wrapping the rug in canvas because then when it goes in our centrifuge, if the rug has any movement, 
uh, and the dyes are leaking, they'll actually stay and get pushed into the canvas rather than other parts of the rug. So we're gonna get it in there and spin it. I'll probably put it out in the sun. Now for this rug in the centrifuge, we actually don't rinse it because we don't want to make more of a mess with those dyes. We completely flushed that rug already. So we want to try to keep all the dye in, its, in the places that it is right now. The less movement, the better. And you can see how much red is still coming out of that rug. Uh, if we didn't have a centrifuge to dry this, it'd be very difficult um, to try to extract this all out and keep the, the color from moving into other parts of the rug. So this process is basically getting all this loose moisture that has dyed in in, in about two minutes. Right, and you can actually see how much red is in, in this cloth here. No, that definitely looks a lot better. All right, so this whole area here has really damage. Uh, as you can see, it's still wet, but I'd say this is probably about as 85 to 90% improvement on the first try here. Um, the sunlight is actually gonna allow some of the colors to go back to and migrate where they belong. Uh, UV light has a tendency to actually help us a lot when we clean rugs like this. So we're gonna leave it out here for a little bit. Uh, when we dry it, we'll dry it upside down inside and that'll let any all the moisture to try to dry from the front of the rug to the back. And that should pull, and if there's any more loose dye, that should pull that through the back of the rug. Um, but yeah, what do you think? How do you feel about this? Not bad. Definitely a lot better than the, uh, we're gonna show you guys the before picture again, uh, and then we'll show you some after pictures, but I think uh, for the first go at this one, I think we're, uh, we're in pretty good shape.